All right, so an important thing with frog fishing, two things actually, always be watching, watching the water. That bite, those three bites I just missed right there, um, I was casting about 10 feet to the left of it and I saw just a little tiny disturbance in the tules. I saw a tule shake. Flipped in there with a the frog, tried to suck it in twice, missed it, threw back in there, stuck her. But my second point, I have really dull hooks on this. I've caught probably, I don't know, 40 to 50 frogfish in the last couple days on this frog. And uh, I noticed that I had uh, dull tips. Um, I tried actually just filing them down with the tips of my pliers, but um, it just cost me that fish. I stuck her hard and she came off. So uh, keep a file on the boat. I actually have a file on the boat. I was too lazy to go in and, and file them down um, just a minute ago, but I'm gonna take a little break, file up some hooks, sharpen them up, and uh, hopefully catch some more fish. Don't be lazy, guys. All right, so this is a, just a basic hook sharpener. And what it does, once, you know, these frogs are getting destroyed, but uh, it's real easy. Put it in there, and then you just spin this. And this will take all of your uh, dulled points and turn them like new again. You know, think about how many times your hook points hit grass or tules or wood or the side of the boat or your partner on a miss hook set when you're fishing a frog throughout the day so after a few days you know these these points don't get they stay uh they get pretty dull i should say but again what i want to say is you know pay attention to your surroundings that fish showed me where it was at and uh, if i wasn't paying attention i never would have made a cast back to her um so look, look for uh, the grass to lift up, look for little sw uh, swirls in the water, look for tules just to do a little tick. You know, that's, a, that's usually a fish tail hitting it. So let's see if we can catch some frog fish. Still a little dull, but a lot better than they were. They were almost folded over. Go. First thing is going to be the square bell crankbait. The square bell is a, a compact bait, fits that general bluegill profile where it's a short, stumpy bait, pretty round. More importantly, it moves very quickly, very erratic, something to be This may be a better day than I think. It's starting to look pretty stacked. So we're going to run down lake. 
cub. I don't know how well you guys can see, but basically I've got a big point over on this side and an even larger point there on the left and then the dam down there in the background. And uh, I think I'm gonna focus around those first couple of big points, although I gotta admit this stuff is looking pretty darn good. But we're gonna start out down there. We're gonna focus on some of that stuff and see if we can find some fish on the little bit of structure that is in.